Hello, Morgan and the Clark Public Utilities team. Uh, this is going to be a video <clears throat> going over how to use the um, flow maps tool. Uh, hopefully it'll be fairly concise here and, and I'm just going to try to stick to, to the basics of uh, how to use this and then uh, just a couple of highlights of what I'm hoping to get uh, from you guys. Um, so this is a reflection of the uh, what you guys have been referring to as the mind map, uh, just put into more of a regular hierarchical site structure, um, along with notes. So um, just like with the mind map, obviously looking at it zoomed out this far has limited usefulness. Uh, there, it, it is sometimes helpful to be able to see, you know, the the larger structure. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to want to zoom in to be able to do anything. And so that's right down here in the lower right hand corner. You can just click uh, to zoom in. So I usually try to just fit in one section, something like this, whatever works for you though, obviously. Um, moving around, you just click anywhere that's not on the page and click and hold and you can just drag it around wherever you want. You just want to make sure not to click and drag and hold on a page because then you might be moving the page. You can see here, uh, that's how you move a page. So if I wanted to change the order, you can see this is showing me I'm about to drop it right here. If I drop it on a page, that's going to make it a child and it's going to put it down right here. So if I put it there, you can see it dropped all the way down underneath here and we don't want that. So it shows you right where it's going to be. Same thing here, we can bring this back over where it was, now it's right back the way it was. The control Z function also works on this site, so I just hit control Z, it went back one step, went back another step, went back three steps. Uh, I haven't tested the limits of how far back that goes, but if you, this thing just saves as you go, so if you make an edit and you didn't mean to, uh, Control Z is an easy way to just revert what you just did. Um, let's see. Uh, if you want to um, add a page, uh, you know, I, I think we got everything from the mind map on here, but if I miss something or if uh, another page comes up that you want to add, you literally just hover over the page. If you want to add what's called a sibling, you click on this one off to the side and it will add a page. Every once in a while it gets a display error like what just happened there. You can just refresh uh, in order to, uh, to correct it. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. Um, so you can see there's the page that I added, which is the sibling page, and if you wanted it instead to be a child, you could of course just move it and drop it right on that. Um, or you can also, when you're adding a page, just choose this one right down here. It says create child, and sure enough, as soon as you click it, as soon as you click it, it adds a page right down uh, below here in that, in that uh, organization. To get rid of them, um, you can just click on the page, just click here on the, on the block, and we get a few options, and under this dot, dot, dot is the delete option. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of both of these that we just added. Changing the titles is relatively simple also. You just click right in here and you can um, update this to whatever you want. You can see that on each one of these, there are um, these little colored tags. Uh, they might not be 100% correct, um, but please take a look and tell me what you think about that. So, you know, in this case, Board of Commissioners, um, this is an existing page. And linked here, when it's combined with existing page means that I have linked it. Uh, you can click into one of these pages. When you click on the top here, you get these, these options up top. 
Let's go right here to expand page. And that shows you what is what is on that page. So there might be some questions, there might be some notes, uh, and then also, you know, in the case here of an existing page where it says linked, if you expand the page, then right up here should be a link to that page and you can click it uh, to see what page it is that we think it corresponds to the one that you've got in the map. Uh, if that needs to be corrected, please do. You can just come right here. You can see the little pencil here and just click that. You can delete what's there and, and put in a, a new link instead. To get back to the main view, you can click this X, which exits out of this view and takes you to the map you can partially see behind. If you want to get partial view of both, you can click on this double arrow right here, which allows you to see and move around a little bit here in case you want to reference something out here while you're writing in here. Uh, for these items inside here, um, you know, I've often added these. Sometimes they're just little notes like linked um, because those are visible out here in this portion. So you can see Board of Commissioners and then I put that it also on this page is the CEO and the GM, the department directors, key accounts, etc. Uh, so this can be just like a nice little summary of bullet points of what is um, on the page as far as we understand it. Uh, you know, because again, I I'm calling that out because in this case it's called Board of Commissioners, but you know, the existing page has more than the Board of Commissioners on it. Um, so maybe that needs to be revised, I don't know. Again, once you're in here um, on the page, if you do want to add your own text, uh, once there's a block on the page like this, you come right over here to this little uh, icon on the left. And I don't think you should worry about all of these. We're not trying to do a layout or design or anything here. This is just for note taking. So really just, you know, use this text tool right here drag a text block over into the block, and you can write whatever it is that you want here. Uh, if you're pasting something in from a page and it gets long, sometimes it'll do this and go past the edge of the page. When you're done typing, just drag it back into the block, and it should resize to fit within the page there. I'll go ahead and delete that. Again, I can just click right on the block, click on the three dots here, and hit delete. Go ahead and leave this page. Um, so yeah, new page assumes that it's a brand new page. Existing page, uh, you know, it means that I think we think that there's a, an existing page on the site that corresponds. Uh, in which case, I we put the the link in here uh, that's at the top. For the other tags, uh, here we have partial page which in this case, you know, um, the current site, the about page has this. So this doesn't seem to be a full page. I mean, it could be, but uh, it seems like a partial page because you know, uh, as you can see here on this page, it is only a piece of a page, not an entire page. So um, yeah. Then we have um, this purple one, which says related existing, which means it could be an existing page, but we're not really sure, or it could be just a related page that corresponds, that content could be pulled from to create a new page out of it. Um, so let's look at one of these, fostering an engaged workforce. Um, so there's the existing careers page that seems to somewhat correspond, but the title of this page is more than careers. It seems to be about the, uh, the company culture. So, you know, perhaps there's an existing page or, you know, it, we need to, we'd like to know what the intention is there. Are we going to craft a new page that's about culture? Are we going to expand the existing careers page to be uh, about culture, or is this a brand new one? It's it's not really uh, it's not really clear. Um, there's another tag here that says needs expansion, uh, which is of 
question more than a statement. Uh, sometimes it's more clear than others that it needs expansion. In this case, it's not 100% clear, but we've got the title Water Quality, Reliability, and Regional Support. It appears to be an existing page. Um, if we click here and go into the page, we find content for quality, and here's the link for that, but we do not see reliability and regional support content. So again, perhaps either the existing page needs expansion and we just link to that, or is this a new page that's going to have expanded content uh, and only live under the About section? If you do end up um, comparing this to the existing site map and you're thinking, oh, something's over there that isn't on here, or just for whatever reason, if you're comparing the two and trying to align them, um, going from left to right on this, or here's the main sections, your customer-owned utility, secure, resilient, scalable infrastructure, securing and engaging our customers, and then strategic resource and policy planning. So that basically corresponds to one, two, three, four is how I did, starting in the upper left, top to bottom, left to right. So your customer-owned utility, secure, resilient. So yeah, and then basically down, down each path is left to right across if you're looking to, to align something or see where that goes. I really don't want this to become uh, a big task for somebody, for anybody. Um, so if uh, you would like to get on another call and we can do a working session, you know, if you're not finding this tool comfortable. Um, I really, all that we're looking for here is either just, you know, the first part is confirmation or correction on just the basic pieces here, that these are the pages and that they're either existing or not existing. Um, and then uh, maybe a little bit about the importance of some of these. If some of them are more important, we want to be able to put those in the navigation so that they're easy to find. Um, and then the, the kind of the bigger one, too, is like, what do we think the content schedule is for these? Or if we don't know that, you know, as we discussed in the meeting, maybe getting some uh, on some of these pages that are, that are brand new or appear to be brand new. Um, you know, what is about the CAT team? You know, and again, we don't need much. If this is just going to be, you know, a couple paragraphs of description, that's fantastic. But if it's going to include bios about the CAM team and pictures of those, you know, again, that's just kind of great stuff to understand. The conservation story, you know, does it include a timeline? Does it have posts for uh, different projects and whatnot? So again, just like the broad gist, the very broadest strokes about what is going on the page is going to be uh, very helpful. Uh, yeah, let me know if you would like a meeting or if there is anything about this uh, video that is confusing. Thanks so much.